AI tokens and the narrative going forward, what's going to be the winners and the losers today? We're going to break it all down for you and talk about some projects I think you will like. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back into Tech Path. Before we get started, let's start with our sponsor today, and that is Tangium. If you're looking at self custody, this is one of the places that you can go. All you have to do is visit their website, go to tangium.com, and just go up there on the right. You can click that little blue button. It says Get Tangium and get into the three card set. This is the time also for you guys to consider self custody as we start to move into this bull market, even though I think we're now maybe a month in, maybe two months in, the key here is self custody. So this is one way to do it. It works with a card and an app. Just download the app on iOS or Android and use our link down below to get started. It's very easy. All right, let's get into the topic today and that is AI tokens and which ones could really be the winners. And I think at the end of the video, you're going to find out that there's really one champion, and it's going to be a very interesting uh, play. Let's get into a couple of points that are happening right now with NVIDIA. Obviously, NVIDIA absolutely flying up the charts, but one thing that is happening, and it's kind of right here at the top, it's kind of a little bit hidden, and that is their AI conference and expo that's happening on March 18th through the 21st. So just here in a week or so, anticipating a big announcement. That is why I think you're seeing this kind of move with NVIDIA, this big pump and then a rejection right off that 972 mark holding out today as we record this at around 884. The point is, is this if NVIDIA is going to be moving aggressively, I think, on up the charts. And for reasons primarily right now, based on news versus tech. Sure, there's going to be some tech elements that definitely will move it. But I think this is more of a news-driven narrative that gets into the bigger picture uh, going forward. And this is a problem, I think, in not only in crypto, but I think in general in securities as well, is that the AI narrative, it's solid, but the, it's going to take some time to move on out. And I'll explain that here in a second. I want to jump over to, Ju to Jules Zerbach, who is the CEO over at uh, Render. And he's kidding, he hits on a couple of things. Let me kind of zoom in on this tweet that he put up right here. Wrapped up an amazing afternoon with Eric Schmidt. Uh, and you look at the potential here of where Render is going. What they were talking about is mapping out the future and brainstorming their latest AI tech. So very share, uh, excited to share some more details. All of this is going to be at GTC 24. So expect that at the gaming conference. And I think that's going to be a big factor in whether or not Render positions themselves as by far the leader in this AI side. And I'll give you a narrative as to why they could win this race and possibly see these kinds of multiple, maybe 10, 20, 30 X type moves. And I know Render has been moving pretty aggressively here recently. And a lot of you guys I know have purchased that one, uh, you know, a long time ago because we've been covering it for quite a while. One other note on this one is that their token is getting ready to launch. So it's coming soon. Be on the lookout for IO, I believe is what it's going to be tagged as. The thing with this is also be aware that the AI narrative, and there's a report I'm going to show you guys uh, here in a second. The AI narrative may not be what you think. All right, so let me show you this report from Coinbase Institutional. This is market intelligence, breaks down a little bit of the crypto AI, and they call it the mirage. And the statement that they're making right here, our contrarian view is that the value potential for many AI tokens may be overstated as a result of broad attention to the AI industry and that many AI tokens may lack sustainable demand side drivers in the short term to medium term. What that simply means is that the tech is narrative only, that the narrative behind the real use case is not just there yet. Now, some of the things that they showcase within the report, I'm going to give you guys a couple of charts here. One that is right here. All right. So this is, if you did get the, uh, the download on this is, I think on a page eight, chart three, it's the Akash network. So usage increased rapidly 2024. However, fees paid to the network have actually dropped since their December 2023 peak as the supply of GPUs uh, availability has outpaced the demand of growth for those resources. Simply put, not enough supply. This is something NVIDIA has been very vocal about. And remember, this is one of those tokens that just like others have been pumped through, whether it's influ influencers, not necessarily the narratives themselves, because there's two types of pumps that are happening with these uh, types of tokens. PAL is a good example. You, know, you can see the run up right here. Sure, it's in line with when NVIDIA really started making its move back in early February, but this is one of those that gets influencer notoriety. And I think that's the other thing 
If it sees that kind of move, most likely it's going to be a short-term uh, scenario. The key is having both of them, both the influencers and or the analysts talking about it. And then, of course, the narrative behind it from um, you know news, editorial, research, all that kind of stuff that really starts to move on these. One thing that you could look at is meme coins. Meme coins actually outperformed the meme coin sector uh, or the AI sector. They surged 77% in the past week. So this was even over what was happening in the AI sector. Now, granted, there's a little bit of a fatigue, I think, in the AI sector. But the point is, is that with meme tokens, you're getting both in, in the influencers really pumping these tokens, which drives these numbers up dramatically. And you also get the news and a lot of the narrative pushing out. So whether they're useful, they have utility, not necessarily a, a, a situation that you really look at. It's how the news is reporting on those, much like AI, kind of like its own meme token in reality, because it doesn't have the full use case built into it just yet. Sure, it's coming. And the likelihood that is coming down the pipe, the question is, is how long and what is going to be the winning case for AI, especially in crypto, between now and then. One other thing I want to get to is this right here. And this, of course, is a good explanation. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik mentioned a new altcoin. There was a jump in price. And the tweet that he hit on right here, these were deep end projects. So you think about Render, you could look back at IO and a handful of others. One that he was talking about specifically is a category in its name for something that has been around for a decade. It's called storage. Various decentralized Ubers would be the other one. Those are the ones that he sees in the deep end kind of concept. And we've reported on several of those. If you think Ubers, we'll just use projects like HiveMap. It's not really an Uber, but it's using drivers to collect data. Then you look at the potential of Teleport, which we've talked about before on the Solana ecosystem. Very small project but has the opportunity of decentralizing that kind of stuff. So, all right, so the other thing that he, he notes here is, is it's never really gotten off the ground. So what's the bull case for why it will get off the ground now? Point is, is that AI is here. The likelihood and the real use case is going to be storage. And those projects who have been able to go in that direction, you look at Render, what they've been able to do, they have a very unique position, Filecoin, and then of course storage. You look at storage right now, maybe it is the better play. This is the one month right now on storage. You can get this on Coinbase. So it's one to be looking for. Again, this gets back into the technology that's running the front side of AI. And what I mean by the front side is that it's the use case side, storage side. When we get into other narratives, I think it's going to have to be much further down the development of AI as a whole. If you just look at something that all right, so one thing to focus on is cloud gaming and how NVIDIA has partnered with Wilder World. Uh, they're basically out there pushing this. One of the things that they hit on in this article is that they're really trying to just reduce the cost and the barrier to entry. And remember, this is something that there is demand for now. And that's the difference, I think, in how we're getting kind of the bigger AI narrative versus the real use case narrative in things like storage for things like cloud gaming, which is coming to reality. If you just look at LivePeer, this is a good example. LivePeer, look at this pump right here. I mean, this isn't an AI. Now, granted, you know, Vitalik started to focus on this one as well, but he understands that the narrative in, at least right now, is still a little bit overblown. And it also kind of aligns with what the Coinbase report uh, gave you. So Render is by far the one winner here. I think if there is going to be a AI token winner for this cycle, it's going to be render. And this one is going to definitely go into the multi-axing. So, and I think it's just natural because of what it's doing. And if you look at render just in general, let me see if I can pull that chart for you guys real quick. Render has been going off uh, here recently. Yeah, here we go. And you can kind of see the last three days continuing up. But remember, renders had a very, very big run over the time. This is going back quite a ways back into when we were entering down here, quite a ways back, I think we began beginning of last year. But Render is, I think, now on its way. And all of this is the narrative that's coming around AI as a whole. So just be on the lookout for these. Make sure you're uh, paying attention. Don't get caught in these AI vacuums that just suck you in. Uh, get into what's being used and really useful. And I think that's the key here in understanding because the ones who are really watching are the ones that I think are making this uh, kind of project go. 
All right, you guys, if you're not in the Diamond Circle, get in now. It's another great place to get additional contact. Or you can, of course, hit me out there on X at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on Tech Back. Thank <laughs> you.